morning from Horny Horsey. <laughs> I just thought that off the top of my head. It is quite frisky this morning, this sea. It's a lovely morning. I love it when it's like this. Brisk. So what am I doing in Hornsey, eh? Well, I've come to try the UK's best, officially, the UK's best fish and chips. But it's quite early. I got here last night and I stayed in a pub car park called the Victoria and I went in pub and watched the darts. Nice pub actually and they let you stay in the car park, lovely and peaceful. So, I've had a nice walk on front this morning trying to find a, somewhere I could get a coffee but I've not found anywhere yet so I'm going to have to head to Tesco's. So I found somewhere for a coffee. Big shout out to Lily's Cafe on the front there at Hornsey. Americana. So I'm trying to be a bit more healthy. I know I'm having fish and chips today but I've got to get back on track because I put some right weight on last year. Honestly, when I watch my videos from sort of January time to December, oh my god. I better put on about three stone. But I can lose it fairly quick, although that's not going to be easy when we're going on holiday next week and I'm doing fish and chip reviews. Just been to Tesco's on business. Now it's time to tidy the back of the van. Let's see what sort of mess it is. That's not too bad. Ta da! So there you go, quick tidy. What's changed in the van since I last showed you? Well, I've added these things here. I got them off Amazon, pack of four. They're good for remotes and bits and bobs, magazines, books, and stuff. Uh, but I've not really done anything else. I'll not show you in cupboards because I just chuck all my stuff in there, like my pyjamas and everything. I'm using these, I've got two of these from Dunelm storage boxes. Brilliant, they're useful because I just chuck stuff in there. Same power bank that I've been using. Uh, I have, you see the cable there that's going into the that's going into the cab because I've tried charging it when I'm driving, you know, from the cigarette lighter, but it's only putting something like 90, 100 watts in, I think. So it's not really worth it unless I'm going really long journeys. Uh, this thing, when when I first picked the van up, I thought I weren't right sure about this. I didn't know what to think. Absolutely brilliant. So you can just on a night you can just chuck your stuff in cab out of the way, or if you've left some shopping and you can lean through and grab it. It's good for peeking out. And they're all they've all got these uh, fly nets as well on them. It's good for peeking out if you hear a noise. Same with these, you've got that way. And you've got the, the, the fly net. I've got a big one here at the back, that's huge. So I can uh, look at the stars on a night. And this opens all the way. My daughter loves to stand on the bed and stick her head out at window and uh, shout abuse at passers-by. Still got my uh, fancy compressor fridge, which I'm loving. Oh, that reminds me. So, <laughs> I keep practicing here, I can't do it right. Big, <laughs> Big shout out to wife. I'm just I I'm trying to do something creative. Start again. Massive shout out to Y Foods for sponsoring this video. So if you like me, an international man of mystery, or lady, you could be a lady, international lady of mystery, and you travel in the UK, length and breadth. <laughs> God, I need to like do scripts. So what I f I'm travel I'm doing loads of travelling and I'm stopping at service stations all the time and like eating burgers and stuff like that. And it's not good. So these are quite handy. They're a meal replacement in a bottle and they've got all your macronutrients, your vitamins and your minerals and all that stuff and they come in different flavours. Coconut being my favourite flavour. There are vegan options available as well. 
what they've kindly offered us all is 10% discount. So click the link in the description. It's on the screen as well. Give them a go. And thank you, Y Foods. Send me more, please, because <laughs> I love them. Right, we're parked up. The sun's come out. So we're going to go for a walk into town and have a quick look. I've just spoke to my mum. She says, oh, there's some nice architecture in homes there. So we shall see. Nice little park here. And some of the uh, traditional old seaside houses. I can see a boys ahead. Shall we go in? It's got to be a mini boys or that, hasn't it? Never have a dashery. Yes, we just head straight to the back. Carol's up there, and Graham there. Thank you. Right. Ground floor, perfumery, stationery, and leather goods. Wigs and haberdashery, kitchenware, and food. That was a nice haberdashery department. I think we'll give that a score of eight out of ten. Nice compact little boys there. Not the best I've been in. I mean, that goes to boys Bridlington, obviously, but yeah, it was nice. Well, bloody museum shut. What's all that about? It says it's open on Google. That's not good, is it? I wonder if it's a bit early. I'll go back in a bit. That's frustrating. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? I just missed a great shot then. There was seagulls on each of those towers for a moment. I got my camera out and the tour of flown off. But this is an interesting church. It looks very early again. See, that'd do me, that little cottage there. I'd be happy with that. Straight across from servicemen's club. Not that I've ever been a serviceman. But I'm not ready to give up on the old van life yet. Oh, look at this. Very nice. I guess we can't go in the museum then. That's frustrating. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do. Oh, my mum's told me about this charity shop. She says it's really good. But I ain't got Ellen with me. But I'm, I'll go and have a look. I will see what they've got. That's Ornsy Pottery, tell them all. It's quite stylish. So, as a lot of you might already know, I used to be an antique dealer, sort of bric-a-brac, collectibles and stuff. And I loved Hornsey Pottery. That's why I'm a bit disappointed the museum's closed because they've got an exhibition of all the, the styles of Hornsey Pottery. And if you're into sort of, if you're looking for ever, looking for a tea set or dinner set, and you like that sort of retro vibe, look it up because some of the designs are fantastic, and it's really hard wearing stuff. I remember there was one design called Contrast, really like that, and it it looks really sort of trendy today. There, that's your homewares tip for the day. Hey, you get it all on here, don't you? Haberdashery, 
homewares what more do you want just been chatting to a subscriber hi rob uh, i had an interesting chat with him actually because about 10 minutes ago i was looking in the estate agent at some of the houses for sale and i was thinking about my mum and dad and there's some reasonably priced bungalows here the property prices seem really good and it is a nice place and anyway i was being chatting to this subscriber rob and he told me that he'd moved down from Whitby and he said the same thing because the property prices are so much better. I mean, Whitby's really gone a bit crazy, hasn't it? So, yeah, something to bear in mind if you're looking for a, a good value property, head here. Anyway, I'm getting hungry now. It's time to head for some fish and chips, I think. The main reason for this video speech is meant to act as a starting gun on this year's general election campaign and this is his central message a changed party i inadvertently put the news on there word of advice stop watching the news or listening to the news they just lie right so what we've got here it's along here somewhere so here we are i'm very excited about this could these be the best fish and chips I've ever had? They won an award for 2023, the UK's best fish and chips, and that's in the whatever awards, the National British Fish and Chip Awards. So these are officially the UK's best fish and chips. And I'm gonna go in, I was gonna sit in the restaurant and have them, but I'm not gonna do that now because it's too busy. So I'm gonna get them in a box and I'm going to get back in the van and drive to that car park on the front and do a proper review. This is exciting. This is what you came here for. Are you ready? So yeah, fairly inconspicuous place. Looking good. Impressive. It's all right, I'll not get you on. Sorry. Thank you. How do I get out? Is it that way? Thank you. Well, that was very kind of the lady. I said, oh, can I film? Because I'm doing YouTube. And she says, yeah, you can come right back. So that was a sneak preview. Anyway, let's get parked up. I'm so hungry. I've just come up with a great idea. You know, like you've got emergency services, you've got like your police, your fire, uh, your ambulance, and they have blue lights. There should be a, a fourth one where you can have like a different light, light and that's for when you've got a takeaway in the car because have you ever noticed when you've gone to pick a takeaway up when you're driving there's always people in front of you taking forever or not letting you through you, it's, it's an emergency you've got hot food we're in this car park here i think what do you think to that invention it could be like a different color light and everyone has a sort of a mutual respect where they get out of your way because you've got your fish and chips or whatever I'm just pulling into a car park here and I'm going straight in back and I'm tucking in. Words cannot describe how excited about these fish and chips I am. Oh. <laughs> Let me get some B-roll. Oh, 
<laughs> I find it hard to contain my excitement sometimes. I'm going to start with a chip on its own. Let's do a chip on its own. Mm. Can you see that? Thick chips. little bit soggy they're not but they're soft but it's a different potato let's but that's probably because i've had them in van that's why you need that emergency light on my van because i've had to drive and they've probably sweated a bit right some peas mm. oh yes that's what i'm talking about those peas are superb you've got to have good mushy peas when i went to the uh, lifeboat fishery in scarborough they were fantastic peas and they're just the same let's look at this fish now oh that's thick this is haddock again thick haddock no skin oh god yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, these. Now, I know a lot of you will complain about price. They're £11.55, but worth it. Um, people say you go, you can get fish and chips for six pound or whatever. I know there's a place you can even get for three pound, but I don't know without trying them. I, I very much doubt they're going to be the quality of these. To be fair, there's no wrong with them chips. I think it was the first chill. I think it was a steam in the box. These are so good. I don't want to rush. You know, if you're like me, if you're like me, if when something's really nice, you tend to rush it, don't you? I need to take my time with these. Mm. Spectacular. have a bit of batter on its own it's crunchy they've got a secret recipe apparently So, a lot of you told me to come here, so those of you who have had these, give me your score in the comments. Finished. So, oh, final verdict on Whitehead's Fish and Chips in Hornsey. Well, firstly, thank you so much to all the subscribers that told me to come here because that was amazing. And we've gotten to, what year is it? 2020, <laughs> we've got off to a great start because they were amazing. Now, how can I have Fish and Chips again? How can I judge them against them? Because they're, they're 9.9 .9. you can't get better that it's obvious why they've won awards they were absolutely perfect in every way 
I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. Eleven pound fifty-five for that with a regular. I normally get a small, but my eyes were bigger than my belly, so I had a regular, and that were quite a big portion. They have a secret recipe for the batter. Uh, that was just amazing. The fish was thick, and I don't know what the words to use. It was meaty. It was fishy. It was succulent. Just the right amount of moisture. The chips were chunky chips. They were great. There were no crappy chips. They were all chunky chips. And the peas. I love a good mushy pea. There's no excuse for bad mushy peas. They were exceptional. So yeah, 9.9. .9. Fantastic. So, there you go. That's Hornsey. What do we think about Hornsey? It's the first time I've ever been to Hornsey and yeah, it's January so there's nothing going on. I was disappointed that the museum was closed. There's nothing else really. There's a lot of nature reserves and stuff and there's a, a zoo you can go to which looks interesting. I'd come back with my daughter and take her there. There's like an insect place and uh, you can hold tarantulas and scorpions and things like that. And I was thinking about that Last night I was doing a bit of research when I was sat in pub and I thought, oh, shall I go there and that'll make good content, won't it? Like holding tarantulas and scorpions and I thought, no, I'm not going to do it because I'll make myself look all right, chicken. But my daughter loves that. She went to a place like that and she, her mum sent me photographs and she's got all sorts of creatures on her hand. Well, I say, it's like funny, isn't it, how young ones don't have fear of stuff like that. Anyways, that's it for this video. Brilliant fish and chips. Horns is a lovely place. You could come here, there's some nice pubs, and you could come and have fish and chip meal. You could go to a couple of pubs, you could sleep in your van and have a lovely walk along the front. Uh, in fact, I might just have a quick walk along now and have a look. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's a, it's a nice place, and it's not, it's not too crowded, although it is January, isn't it? So it's not going to be. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm taking Helen away for her birthday, so it's Helen's 50th next week. And I'm taking her for some sunshine. I'm not telling you where we're going yet, but a few of you have guessed already. But another clue, it's not Benny Dorm. And it's cheap. We booked. I booked the cheapest thing I could find online. Because uh, as you know, Christmas is a very expensive time and me being me not saved properly but we're gonna have a good time the only thing that puts me off from this place is it's like every vlogger in the world seems to go there and do a vlog so we're gonna have to do something a bit different don't know what it's just probably be us getting drunk really anyway i'm rambling i'm gonna have a walk along the front and uh i'll see there